I'm Ron Sanangelo, South Bridge Town Manager, and I'm here today to give you an update on the coronavirus and what is happening here in Southbridge in terms of what are we doing about the disease and how to deal with it. First, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing right now. You're going to be aware uh, that Town Hall is going to close, and all town buildings, in fact, are going to close beginning Tuesday, March 17th. Now, we're doing this in order to help stop the coronavirus from spreading, uh, obviously, throughout our community. But town halls all across the state of Massachusetts are doing the same thing. I've been in constant contact with town managers, town administrators, and we're all working together to coordinate activities. So you're going to see in the newspaper town halls, town buildings all throughout the state starting to close. And Southbridge is no different. We're doing that to protect you, to protect employees, and to keep government operation in operations. Now, while Town Hall will be closed to the general public, it will be open in terms of the citizens of the town, uh, the employees of the town who will be working every day to still provide the needed services of the town. So if you need to contact employees here in Town Hall, you can email them, you can call them, you can write in whatever steps you need to take to get your business done. Please really take advantage of the Southbridge website uh, go on the website and you can actually pay your taxes through the website. Get all kinds of questions answered. You can find contacts for all town officials. But at least temporarily we're going to have to close. We do not know when public buildings will be open again. And we'll let you know as soon as that's possible. I want to make it clear that it's all public buildings. So the town library will be closed, the community center, and all non-essential uh, public meetings are going to be uh, postponed or canceled at this time. Now I want to assure you that this is a cooperative effort among a lot of people. The town council is working with me uh, to figure out how we can actually hold town council meetings. So they are working on that. We expect that there will be announcements soon letting you know when the town council meeting is going to be and exactly what format that's going to be in. Uh, town employees are still going to be providing services. The Department of Public Works will still be out there. Police and ambulance will all still be out in the public. So you're going to see a lot of activities still occurring but you will not be able to come into the town buildings. Now, to give you an idea, I think most of you have probably heard what's going on statewide. Right now, the governor has stated that there should be no public meetings uh, of a, a gathering of over 25 people. So 25 or less can still be held, very small meetings, but we are recommending that any meeting that can be held via phones, being some kind of phone conference, that would be the better way to deal with it than in-person meetings. Clearly, the governor has closed all bars throughout the state, so that you will not be able to go to bars, restaurants. Right now, you can only go in for takeout service. Again, this is to protect the public against spreading. So please, keep up to date with what the governor is doing. Uh, keep up to date with what's going on here in town. Uh, we're all working together. I want to assure you that on a daily basis, I'm working with our public health director, with Harrington Hospital, with our public health nursing, with uh, nursing homes in town, with our police department, our fire department, our school system. We're all working together communicating on a regular basis and we're making decisions as information could, becomes available. We do have to say that it's fluid, so decisions are being changed on a very rapid basis. I'll give you an example. Thursday we decided let's keep the schools open. At that time there, were no, well, there was actually one known case of coronavirus all throughout Worcester County. So on Thursday we decided to keep the schools open and then it didn't take long. There was a confirmed case uh, on Saturday. We immediately announced closing the schools on Saturday. And then on Sunday, the governor announced the schools all throughout the state are closing. So we're trying to work with the best information available, and we're all talking to each other. I'm talking to managers and administrators all throughout the state. I'm talking to health officials. I'm talking to the hospital. So, so communication is happening, and decisions are being made with the best scientific information available. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about a couple of things. Uh, let's first start talking about what's going on in the state of Massachusetts. If you go on the State Department of Public Health uh, on their website, they will tell you specifically, and they update every day, how many known cases there are throughout Massachusetts. So right now in Massachusetts, this is as of yesterday, which was March 15th, uh, total individuals subject to quarantine in Massachusetts, 1,083. Total of individuals have been completed monitoring no longer in quarantine, 638. Total of individuals currently undergo, undergoing monitoring, monitoring or under quarantine, 
445. Now, one of the things that a lot of people are interested in is what's going on here in Southridge and what's going on in Worcester County. So I'm going to talk about the known cases right now in Worcester. There's six confirmed cases in Worcester County. So that gives you an idea of what's going on here locally. Now, just because there's six confirmed cases doesn't mean that there's, other, there's not other cases that are not confirmed here in Southbridge. So we are doing everything we can to be as careful as possible. Now, there's a lot of questions and facts about, or a lot of questions and comments about the disease itself. And I want to tell you again, and I know you're hearing this everywhere, but we can't uh, do enough to repeat this stuff. Uh, so know the facts about coronavirus, and let's do a couple of quick comments about that. Fact number one, diseases can make anyone sick regardless of their race or ethnicity. That's absolutely true. People of Asian descent, including Chinese Americans, are, are not more likely to get uh, COVID-19 than any other American. Help stop, stop the fear by letting people know that being of Asian descent does not increase the chances of getting or spreading this disease. Some people are at increased risk of getting um, coronavirus. People who have been in close contact with a person known to have uh, COVID-19 or people who live in or have recently been in areas with ongoing spread are at an increase of risk of exposure. So obviously I think we've all heard of China, what's going on in China, and Europe and South Korea, all of those countries, Iran, all those countries where people are coming back or come back in the United States from there, they're higher risk, so we need to be a little bit more careful in that situation. Someone who has completed quarantine or has been released from isolation does not pose a risk of infection to other people. So once somebody's been through the whole quarantine uh, process, they are very, very unlikely uh, to be dangerous to anyone else, so please understand that. Fact four, you can help uh, COVID-19 by knowing the si or help stop COVID-19 by knowing the signs and symptoms. So you know these is typical of a flu. Fever, cough, shortness of breath. Seek medical, medical advice if you have any of these symptoms. And if you've been in close contact with a person known to have a coronavirus, or you live in or, have been, or recently have been in an area with ongoing spread of COVID-19. So obviously you're at a higher risk. Now, there are some simple things you can do to keep yourself and to keep other people healthy. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, going to the bathroom and before eating or preparing food. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Stay at home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. Now our school system, as you know, we've announced that the school system is closed and we're not sure when and when it's going to reopen. That was done, again, to protect um, the community from any kind of spread. Now, to be clear, we know that there are people of high risk. One is senior citizens, people that are over 60 years old, they have some kind of underlying condition. We want to do everything in your power to isolate them from other people to protect them and make sure uh, they are the least likely to catch this. So you want to do everything you can to protect the seniors. Some people have said, well, our children not getting this disease. In fact, children can get it and they can spread this virus out to other people, but they tend not to get as sick as, as say, someone of, that is older. So, uh, in fact, we, we know that children can uh, get coronavirus, except that the symptoms they show tend not to be uh, as dangerous as what you might see from somebody older. Uh, I want to talk to the Board of Health, the, the Board of Health, the Town Council, uh, all public officials are engaged in working to protect you. Uh, again, town hall and town buildings will be closed for your protection. Please use our website uh, to get any information you need, contact us. Uh, website will allow you to pay taxes, uh, pay water bills, sewer bills. You can also drop off that, those payments in the lockbox outside, right outside of town hall. So if you want to drop off a payment, you can do that. We are going to do everything in our power to open as soon as possible. But at this time, we don't know when that's going to be. Please, if you haven't yet, you can go to the town's website. On the home page, you will see to the far right an alert system. Please sign up for that alert system because we are using the reverse 911 system. 
here in Southbridge to keep you informed as things occur. So it takes a few minutes to sign yourself up, but if you don't sign yourself up, you won't get those messages. So a reverse 911 is a phone system where we call you to give you the most updated information as possible. Any questions, please contact the uh, public health office in town hall or the town manager's office, and we'll do our best to get back, uh, get back to you with any information that's relevant. Again, thank you. Stay safe. Use common sense. And uh, hopefully we'll all get to, through this together. Thank you and have a great day.